Well, Gareth, the first game of the pre-season against a very strong outfit in Slavia Prague. What did you take from the game? Yeah, I was just being informed that last season's first game was Uxbridge away. So no disrespect to Uxbridge, but Slavia Prague are probably a little bit um, of a different kettle of fish, you know. And uh, they look good. They they are obviously Europa Conference side, you know. So. Um, I think they've been back about three or four weeks and the sharpness I thought in the game definitely showed. Um, you know, they looked that little bit fitter than we were, we were today and, and that's going to happen, you know, it's our first week back and uh, our first game. I mixed the teams up as well, so your development boys, you know, it's probably half development boys coming into the first team. Um, again, which makes a big difference, you know, so we're a young squad, we're learning, um, I want to give chances. But also, um, we've got to learn from what Slavia Prague did today. And I thought they did the basics really well. Um, you know, a few passes and then turned it in behind us, which was uh, which was their ploy. You know, I know Radek Czerny was here and I had a good chat with him after the game. And uh, I've signed a, some quick forwards, so they want to suck teams on and get in behind them. And, uh, and they did that really well. Um, I question our wall in the first goal. I want to have a look at that. Um, but um, this, you know, it's not like it's a league game. It's not like a so. I, I, all these moments are great for me. Little touches here. I want to question some passes. I want to question some, some. Um, you know, can we win headers? Can we back in? Do we know the the little tricks of the game? You know, which I see some of these young boys. Uh, you know, then they've got plenty of development to do. So, but no, good outfit um, and a good workout for the boys. You know, we rested a few. We didn't want to risk a few. Um, you know, Jake Clark Salter came off. I think. Um, he, uh, he got a kick on his calf, I think, which was uh, which was the reason. So we'll have a look at that. It was disappointing because I'd, I'd love him to get 45, and he's a good player. But um, you know, we're not going to risk anyone. We uh, we started this pre-season with sort of a, a low ramp up. We're gonna we're gonna get right up there, and we're gonna be flying on that first game. But um, yeah, nice nice to, to play against uh, a quality team like Slavia Prague and uh, and see where we should be in two or three weeks. In terms of it coming two days into the camp as well, does that then give you a week to work on those particular elements ahead of next weekend's game? Yeah, um, I mean, they come, you know, they come with, with minutes on the grass, you know, you get your touch back, you know, you shouldn't really lose it too much, but it's that little sharpness, it's that little five yards that they had on us today, you know, which we haven't really worked on our speed yet. We, we've done a lot of fitness aerobic stuff, you know, and, and that's what you do in pre-season. That's how you, you ramp it up, you know. So the speed and the sharpness will come without a shadow of a doubt. Um, you know, one or two um, impressed me. You know, I thought there were some real good performances. I'm not going to single anyone out, but, um, you know, we looked um, effective at times when we were trying to press and full of energy. Uh, and, and, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do on Saturday against the Austrian team. Um, but yeah, so far so good with the uh, with the preseason tour. And just a word on in terms of building your squad. Senny Dieng left this morning to join Middlesbrough. That was announced, and it is a case of building your squad. That means players going. Obviously, Rob Dickey and Senny Dieng have both gone, and players coming in. It's going to be a, a long window in that respect, is it? Um, yeah, patience. You know, um, we have to adhere to FFP. We know that. You know the. Uh, the profit and sustainability side of things we, we must do this season um, and so I'm working really hard with, with Lee and the board to make sure that we, we're not going to put this club in any jeopardy, any trouble with points deductions or fines or anything like that, we can't do that um, but also at the same token I, I, I want a few players in the building, yeah um, we have targets, um, whether we get them um, is another matter of, I've missed out on a couple already you know, and rumours go around rife on the internet I'm sure um, I know what I want to bring in. We're going to try and get quality players to join this quality squad. Um, and probably one or two will go out on loan to, to get some experience. One or two will make the grade and we'll have a good squad come the 5th of August. But um, no, it's, uh, it's great, you know. Um, the sun's shining, the boys have got good spirits. I'm sure they, uh, they didn't expect to go and, uh, you know, overthrow a, a Champions Conference side like uh, Slavia Prague. Um, I think 3-0 is probably a fair result. Chris Willock scored in the second half there, but it was judging it offside. I've looked at it, and how the linesman has judged that. I mean, he is so fair play to him, but I'm telling you what, it's minute. And, uh, and that would have been nice. That would have been a little positive on it. But plenty of other positives. Great spirit at the moment. And uh, like I say, one or two players I want to add to the squad, but um, we've got a good group already. And just very finally, a word on the supporters. Not an easy place to get to for them to come out and, and watch the team. It's a great effort from them. Yeah, um, it's great. You know, there's a couple of London accents, but there's a lot of Austrian accents and, and Czech accents and Dutch accents. So uh, the, the European supporters clubs have come in force today. You know, Slavia 
obviously Prague is only you know 40 minutes away or something or whatever it is so it's, it's, it's easy for them they they did outnumber us quite a bit but um i thought both the sets of supporters were, were really good today and uh hopefully they've seen a few uh a few moments from a few younger players that may make the grade uh and definitely the uh the older players especially the ones who've been on the international duty you know just easing them back in and ramping up listen i've uh i've had a lot of pre-seasons number 35 i think or 36 and uh and believe me Pre-season results mean nothing. It's about that league game and uh, and the way we go into the league come August. And uh, and I'll make sure that these boys are firing. We all know what we're doing. Um, can't wait for that one.